Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Kansas Dynasty. Here today, your Kansas Jayhawks had the biggest game of the season so far, facing number nine ranked Oklahoma Sooners in Oklahoma. Gonna be a very, very tough game. Kansas really coming on this year, but Oklahoma's been such a powerhouse program throughout the whole entire dynasty, and they're in the top 10 rankings here early in the year, but they're still in the top 10 nonetheless. First and 10, Ryan Schadler's going to get this handoff, a gain of 4 yards. He sees over 500 yards on the year with 8 scores, over 100 rushes on the year as well. Trying to get him going today. It's 2nd and 6 for Ryan Willis. He's going to drop back. The pressure comes. He throws left. He's going to find Chase Harrell on the left side for a gain of 16 yards of the first down. 2nd and 8. Going to get this one to Ryan Shadler. Right at the middle. He breaks the tackle. And he's going to pick up 4 yards. It's going to be a 3rd and 3. 3rd and 3. Get this one to Taylor Martin. Left side. But here comes the corner blitz. And we lose 3. And there goes that drive. Parrish Cobb in there. In the backfield. We'll have to punt on our first drive. So here is Nicholson, the QB for Oklahoma, squeezes that one in there to Farrier, who gets up off the, he was on his back lane on a defender, and Zach Farrier ends up picking 22 yards on the completion. Now here's Nicholson once again, this time he's going to find Kramer, and they have two big plays that get him into Kansas territory, a gain of 33. It's first and 10, Nicholson gives this one to Anderson. Anderson, though, is corralled by Thomas, and he's tackled in the backfield, a loss of four. It's 3rd and 12 now. Nicholson dropping back. He's going to look. Here comes the pressure. He throws left. That one is intercepted. Deontay Ford. He's making a play for this Kansas Jayhawks defense. Jonathan Nicholson tried to squeeze that one in on the left side. And Deontay Ford jumps it and picks that one off. 2nd and 13. Ryan Willis. He's dropping back. Here comes the pressure. Hit as he throws and it falls incomplete. Third and 13 now, Willis dropping back. Here comes the pressure once again. Throw over the middle. Going to find Chase Harrell, who runs through a couple of the defenders. Picks out 21 yards in the first down. Second and six now, sending Martin in motion. Then get it to Shadler on a little misdirection. He's going to pick up a nice gain of four yards. Then up a third and short. Third and two, Willis drops back. Throws left. Emmanuel Moore can't hang on to it. It's incomplete. Another fourth down. Fourth and two, we're going for it. Willis dropping back. He throws right. He's going to find Evan Fares on the right side for the first down. A gain of eight. It's going to be a first down for the Jayhawks. First and 10, Willis dropping back. He's looking. He's going to throw right. He's going to find his receiver, Harrell, on the right side. He picks up 17 yards in the first down. First and 10, here's Ryan Shadler on the right side. He's got a little bit of a room, fights his way forward. He picks up eight yards. It's third and three now, sending Harrell in motion. It's going to be a fake, and Willis going to throw this one left. It's intercepted by Kirby. Kirby has a room on the right side. He picks up a block. He's being chased down by Lawrence and Ryan Willis. Kirby past midfield to the 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Deontay Ford gets an interception, then the offense drives it down the field. A play action on third and short, and Kirby just jumps up, leaps out of the air. I'm not even sure Ryan Willis saw him over his own offensive line, but then Kirby jumps up in the air and intercepts it, and Oklahoma takes a 7 to nothing lead. We're into the second quarter now. Here's Emmanuel Moore with a six-yard catch. It's second and four now. Ryan Willis throwing this one left side. He's going to find Chase Harrell. Gets away from a man. Chase Harrell, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Kansas Jayhawks. 66 yards. That's how you respond to a pick six, Ryan Willis. Finds Chase Harrell, makes one cut, and he cuts it upfield for the score. So now the defense is back on the field, but here's Anderson with a big gain. Getting towards midfield, a gain of 19 yards for Rodney Anderson. Second and 11, sending Jones in motion. They're going to give it to him on the sweep. He picks up a block. Jones breaks the tackle, picks up the first down, a gain to 13 for Michael Jones. Second and five now. Going to get this one to Rodney Anderson right at the middle. He's going to have a stiff arm, picks up three. It's going to be a third and two. Nicholson gives this one to Adams. Adams finds his way forward for a first down and more inside the 20. He picks up 17 yards in the first down. Second and 12 now. Nicholson's going to keep this one. He should have pitched that he loses four on the play. Sam Hardy in on the tackle. Third and 16 now. Nicholson dropping back. He's going to look. He's going to just have some happy feet in the pocket. Breaks off one tackler. He's going to be hit as he throws, and it's finally incomplete. And Oklahoma is going to be set up with a fourth and 16. Have to kick the field goal with just over three minutes to play. So the offense is back on the field for Kansas. It's second and six. And we're going to throw it over the middle. It's intercepted by Stevens. Stevens jumps this one and takes it to the house. Ryan Willis 
looks like he didn't know where he wanted to go with it and then the pressure came and he panicked and Antoine Stevens read him like a book right over the middle jumping right in front of Willis's favorite target Sternberger and taking it to the house the second pick six of the day for Oklahoma and we're down 17 to 7 two costly mistakes by Ryan Willis so the offense is back on the field. Chase Harold gets lit up after only getting two. It's six and eight now. Second and eight. Six and eight. Doesn't even make sense. Ryan Willis is sacked for a loss of seven, though. Nonetheless, he's going to set up a third and 15 with two minutes to go. Willis dropping back, throwing left. He finds Emmanuel Moore, though, for the first down. That's a big completion. Now it's first and 10 for Ryan Willis. He's going to dump this one down to Ryan Shadler in the middle, who's going to get the first down a little bit more to about the 45-yard line, a 15-yard completion. It's first and 10 now. Screen set up. Willis throws it to Chase Harold over the middle. Harold's going to have a nice gain there of about 10 yards. They're going to mark him short of the first down. Now third and inches over a minute of play here. Ryan Willis dropping back, throws it over the middle. Almost intercepted by Kirby again. This time it's batted down fourth and inches. We're going for it though. Giving it to Shadler. Shadler's going to plow his way forward and gets the first down, thankfully. Two yard rush. Second and ten now. Ryan Willis is dropping back. He's looking. He's going to dump this one over the middle. He's going to find Ryan Shadler. He's blown up, but he picks up four. Third and six, 40 seconds of play. Willis throwing right. It's almost intercepted for the third time today, but it's going to set up a fourth and six. We're going to go with a fake punt here, actually. Stanley's going to step up. He's going to throw this one. That one's intercepted by Harris, but I'd almost rather that one intercepted instead of the field position they would have got. I feel like that was a good time to try to play some trickery against a top 10 ranked team. Really in a position where we punt, we probably get a touchback and they get started with the ball at the 20 anyway. But if we go for it, then they've got a chance of, obviously, Willis has thrown a few picks already. But the offense has some decent field position after the Stanley interception. At second and 10, Motley jumps this one no, Jack Motley, he's at the 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Yuki called this the pick six marathon. Jack Motley, the third pick six of the game, the fourth and inter fifth interception of the game, actually. This time, Jack Motley with the interception takes it to the house and heading into halftime. It is a 17 to 14 lead for Oklahoma, and only one of the touchdowns has come in something not in the version of a pick six. There's three pick six in this game, one by Kansas and two by Oklahoma, and Oklahoma has a 17-14 lead. This is absolutely crazy. 17-14 Oklahoma, but we get ourselves back into it with the end of the half pick six by Jack Motley, and there's Nicholson missing a wide open man on the right side. Defense can get a three, now here's third and nine. Nicholson dropping back, hit as he throws, throws a deep right, that one's up for grabs. Jones comes down with it over Ian Peterson. Ian Peterson just got bossed. That was an unbelievable catch by Michael Jones. Goes up and gets it. 43-yard completion. That was a big, big play for Oklahoma. Could have got a three and out instead. They're in a very good, very good scoring position here at second and three. Nicholson's going to throw over middle. He's going to find Adams for the first down, a gain of 10 inside the 15-yard line. Now first and 10, it's going to be Anderson right at the middle. He's going to break a tackle. He's going to pick up six yards there. It's going to be a third and inches now for Nicholson. The offense, they're going to give this one to Harden. The fullback who breaks a tackle picks up one in the first down. It's a first and goal now for Nicholson in the offense. They're going to give this one to Anderson. No. Keeps by Nicholson into the end zone. Three-yard touchdown run, and that catch by Jones proves to be a big one. Could have been a three and out. Offense back on the field for us. Instead, they get it in scoring position and end up converting with a touchdown. So here's our offense back on the field. A few too many mistakes in the first half. Got to capitalize here and make this a one possession game once again. First and 10, there's Chase Harrell over the middle getting into Oklahoma territory. Gain of 15 yards. Now first and 10 is going to be a handoff to Ryan Shadler who picks up a block on the right side. Shadler breaks this one open a little bit. He gets inside the red zone. A gain of 24 yards. Second and five now. Willis. He's going to dump this one left side to Ryan Shadler. Shadler on the left side is going to get down to the one again at 13. First and goal. Taylor Martin's in the spell. Ryan Shadler and Taylor Martin takes the touchdown as well after Ryan Shadler did most of the work on that drive. Taylor Martin gets the one-yard touchdown run, but we're not worried about who gets it. We're worried about getting back into this game. It's a three-point game once again now. Here's Nicholson left side. He's going to find Zach Farrier once again for a first down, and he really likes just laying on his back, laying on the defender, and then getting up after it, but this time he doesn't get as big a gain afterwards, but here's Kramer on first and ten. He's going to pick up a big gain in a first down to Kansas Terry. 
territory. It's first and 10 for the 35-yard line. Again, giving this one to Adams, who has a lot of room up the middle. He picks up a nice gain to the 15-yard line. Now, first and 10, far yard motion. Nicholson's going to give this one to Farrier, who has a couple of blocks into the end zone. Touchdown, Zach Farrier. 15-yard touchdown run. And Oklahoma takes a 10-point lead once again. The offenses have came to play here so far in the second half. Let's see if we can continue. But Sturberger catches it and fumbles it. And Cobb picks it up, our fourth turnover of the day. Here's another replay. I wasn't quite sure. Sternberger had possession of the ball. Looks like he caught it, then got hit. I thought that was an incomplete pass. I did a coach challenge. I, I thought that was an incomplete pass. I don't even think he had time to tuck it. He definitely did not. But they would not let me challenge it for an incomplete pass. Instead, they made me challenge it for a fumble. And his knee actually was down after looking at the replay. So it ended up being a good challenge. And I didn't even challenge it for that reason. And it's reversed and we get the ball back. But it's a third and ten for the offense. It's Ryan Willis. Just over a mental play here in the third quarter. Willis dropping back. Throws left. It's jumped by Cobb. He gets the turnover in the end. Anyhow, I had a wide open man over the middle. Now that I look back at this one. And we do end up getting our fourth turnover of the day. And here's Nicholson on first and 10 right after the interception, finding Blake Adams, 19-yard touchdown reception. And Oklahoma is really starting to take over this game. Their offense wasn't even as good as I thought they were going to be. Rodney Anderson's a good halfback. Jonathan Nicholson's a dual-threat QB. But they made quite a few mistakes. It's really their defense that I knew coming in was going to be really good. I knew that this was going to be one of the toughest teams. This might be the second-best defense we played behind Texas, the Texas Longhorns defense. But, man, were they good. They were holding me to anything, and I could not get anything going. It's fourth and two here now at the end of the third quarter. Willis is dropping back, needing a first down here to have any sort of comeback. But Willis is going to make that happen. He's going to slide forward for the first down at about the 40-yard line. We head into the fourth quarter here. Second and ten, Ryan Willis throws right, right side. He finds Emmanuel Moore, 11-yard reception to Oklahoma Territory. It's first and ten now. Willis dropping back, throws left. He's going to find Evan Ferris. See, there's just not a lot of big plays. We're not catching the ball 15 yards downfield like we have so far this year instead we're catching the ball three or four yards downfield hoping that someone will make a play for us it's third and one now Willis gonna have to escape out of the pocket he's gonna be hit as he throws sets up another fourth and one with over six minutes to play here in the fourth quarter got to convert here if we want a chance giving this one to Ryan Shadler he is going to be stopped short and another turnover for this offense just no block in there for Ryan Shadler and Oklahoma has the ball back and they're going to get, try to get themselves going once again. First and 10, Kramer on the left side. He picks up the first down, a gain of 12 yards. Now first and 10, Nicholson once again dropping back. He's looking, throws this one right side. He has a man, Kramer, once again picks up the first down, a gain of 17. It's third and eight now, Nicholson dropping back. He throws this one right side. That one is dropped by Jones. Incomplete pass, and it sets up a fourth down. And they, can, they kick the field goal and make it a 20-point lead. So we have five minutes to come back from three possessions. Can it happen? Well, a good start is a good Taylor Martin return on the right side. He's past midfield, past the 40. He's past the 30, taken down at the 25 Oklahoma 77-yard return. That's a good start. Then first and 10, going to find Evan Fares on the right side. He gained 13 yards. First and 10, Ryan Willis dropping back. Throws right side. He's going to find Chase Harrell. Breaks the tackle into the end zone. A very, very quick score by the Kansas Jayhawks offense. Under five to go, 41-28. So now the defense needs to get a stop for us. First and 10, Nicholson gives it one to Rodney Anderson, and the defense hasn't been able to stop this offense all second half. And Rodney Anderson has a big gain past midfield, a gain of 32 yards. Second and 12 now, Nicholson's going to drop back. He's going to look. He's going to throw this one right side. That one's jumped up, and another incredible catch by Evans. They've had two of those now, two big ones too. If that's an incomplete pass, we're in very good position to get the ball back. But instead, it's a third and 11 here at the 15-yard line. Nicholson dropping back, throwing left. That one is almost intercepted, but incomplete. Mike Thomas bats that one away. Oklahoma gets another field goal, but still a two-possession game. So a score and a two-point conversion can make this a, a one-possession game. There's Emmanuel Moore at the seven-yard catch. There's only two and a half to play, though. Second and three, Sternberger on the left side is going to catch that one for a first down and gain of five. Second and ten now, Brian Willis dropping back. He's looking, he throws this one left. He's going to find Evan Ferris, who's going to run his way forward to about midfield and gain 13. Second and ten now, Ryan Willis dropping back. He throws this one deep left side, looking for a big play. That one's batted away by Demetrius Allen. It's third and ten. Ryan Willis dropping back. He throws this one left. He finds Tyler Patrick, who's past the 40 for the first down and gain of 12. 
First and 10, Ryan Wills dropping back again. He throws over the middle. He's going to find Chase, Jay Sternberger for the first down again, but we're using a lot of clock. A minute 50 to go. First and 10, Ryan Willis dropping back. He's going to throw this one left. He's going to find Sternberger who breaks the tackle. Stiff arms his way, but the clock is still ticking. A minute and a half to play now. Second and 10. Throw over the middle. Tyler Patrick's going to catch that one. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas. 19-yard touchdown reception. Ryan Wills has 350 passing yards and three touchdowns, but three picks has been very costly. The two-point conversion making an eight-point game. Ryan Wills is scrambling for his life, picks up a nice block by Shadler, sets his feet, finds Sternberger. It's an eight-point game. An onside kick could actually get us back into this game. Stanley gets the bounce he needs, but Harding comes up with it at the highest point in Oklahoma. Gets that one. We have one timeout with a minute 25 to go. One first down will definitely secure it if it wasn't secured already. And there's Rodney Anderson, our first and 10, picking up eight. There goes our last timeout. We'd have to have a miracle really to hang on to this one. And Ryan Anderson's going to destroy any hope of that with an 11 yard rush. And Oklahoma proved to be just a little bit too much for this up and coming Kansas Jayhawks team. We really have had a good year so far. And it was really, we could really show everyone um, in the nation really that we were here and we were. We were legit. We were. That's what I was really hoping we could show. But I think we did prove that we were legit, just not quite to Oklahoma's caliber yet. But we have another chance with some big games down the road against Oklahoma State and Texas Longhorns. Those are some big ones. But next week, we will be playing Texas Tech a little bit lower than Oklahoma, thankfully. But we have got to cut down on the turnovers if we want to win any more games this year, let alone against top 10 ranked opponents. That was very costly. The two pick six, you look back at it now, we don't let those happen, we win the game. But then again, you can look, hindsight's 2020, right? So, I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. And we lose to Oklahoma 44 36, allowing just a few too many points. And really seemed like the offense our offense let that out I'd rather had our defense on the field like they were in the first half more than our offense would have been on the field but that's what happens when you play a very good ranked team but come back for more Kansas dynasty uh, we play Texas Tech next week I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode if you did make sure to hit the like button as always I'm out peace